and then you're like, damn, all right, what else do we listen to in music? But hello, mom. I'm on an interview. I love you. I'll call you back. We're Maja Jordan, and we're with BuzzFeed, and today we're building our ultimate playlist. Let's go. Funny enough, I don't really make playlists. I'm really unorganized, but I keep all, all of our music very organized, and then the music that, I'm, that I actually am a fan of, I'm like constantly like tripping over it and rediscovering it. This guy over here has like the nicest playlist I've ever seen in my life. It's like 60 hours of music. I just keep adding to it and I'll go through phases of just songs and, and like around the world or eras and times. And this will be like, oh, when I found out about, you know, Samba. Oh, these are all Arabic songs. Oh, this is all pop from the 70s or 80s. So it's private and I send it only to the homies. When I was a baby, the first song, my aunt always tells a story. She was asleep on the sofa and I was like still in like nappies, diapers at the time. And I went up to her and I started singing. All that she wants is another baby. She's gone to mama, all that she wants. As a baby, I was singing all that she wants is another baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. That, that was the that first song so I ever funny. sang. What about you? Since a young age, I was like constantly around different people's music tastes and my like older sister would listen to music and I would like take her CDs and stuff. I remember taking her like Sean Paul CD when I was like <laughs> six years old. The T-Rock. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. She's just like walking into my room like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's <like>, mine. <laughs> <laughs> my dad never left the disco era. If we're ever going to play a show, if we're ever DJing, he's like going to the disco tonight. I'm like, it's, it's called the club now. Well, like, it's, it's, <laughs> you know, it's, we're going to the club. Now. He's like, you guys are doing the disco thing. You know, like, he used to rock like a medallion, with, like the big lapel and everything. I always remember listening to And the Beat Goes On by The Whispers in the car with him. Man, we have to play like a proper. Oh, we'll do, we'll do a roller. Yeah, we'll do it like a yeah, roller skating rink or something. <laughs> the first album that I bought was the Jimi Hendrix Experience. I was a big compilation kid, you know, so I'd, I'd buy the compilation. I was like, Bang for I, your buck, I just you want know? the greatest hits. Yeah, you know? yeah. They're like, yo, you're six years old. Um, you should slow down. But My I was like, nah, just just cut to the chase. Give me the greatest shit. <laughs> I remember hearing, <laughs> I remember hearing uh, all along the Watchtower. I like vividly remember being in the car with my dad and listening to that and hearing like the stereo pan they had on the the drums. And I was like, yo, I didn't even know what a stereo pan was. I don't even think the stereos panned in my car. I lived in Bahrain. Only like massive artists would ever stop by there. The first show was Shaggy. Mr. Bombastic was the song. And that was my entry. And I don't know if it panned <laughs> on the stereo or anything, but I just remember being like, yeah, man. Also, Craig David came to Bahrain. He had he had to change like four times because all he brought were long sleeves. And it's so hot there. It's so hot. Like he was like, yo, I'll be right back. And I came out, there was like another long sleeve. I was like, no, this guy's gonna be too hot. So when I was in high school, I uh, I got introduced to house music, all different types of dance music, but specifically house music um, through my friend Camille, and we we used to DJ together, and then that kind of like started uh, my my production, DJing, making electronic music, uh, and I learned a lot through that. I think it would probably be like harder, better, faster, stronger. When I was young. I got kicked out of a class for some reason. I remember this and I was like, I was I was a good kid, but I, you know, I don't know, I did something wrong at that time. I was outside and I remember this girl that I had a crush on in school, I was probably like sixth grade. She came up to me and she's like, yo, listen to the song. And she played Hey Ma by Cameron. It sounds like such a high school, like first la first or last day of high school, you're walking in. Hey, it was towards playing, it, yeah. like the doors are open. Yeah, yeah, and it was like you a see, beautiful you see your, day. You see your crush. Yeah, Hey Ma. Yeah. Blessing Me by Bjork. That song is crazy. Try that on for, for, for size and let me know what you think. <laughs> try that it, try it. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was... Probably I Loves You Porgy by Nina Simone. It's a cover she did, I think, on her first album. I don't know why it makes me so sad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Really? Yeah? No. 
No, I anything. I yeah. I fall in love all the time. Like life is for love, you know. I feel like that's what we got it. So I play I play just anything that feels good. Yeah. Feels warm. Yeah. 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 I I, I agree. I, th- I I think about our music when 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 you ask that question. I I'm in love with with making music. My new song Waves of Blue is that idea like there's there's a line in it where it's I'm in love with the thought of being in love with you. And when I was growing up, I used to spend a lot of time just by the water and th- that image was always in my head, the image of waves. Just that thought of what it would feel like to be in love, it's very like young, like you know kind of naive and I, I feel like when when I really am in love or I, I'm wanting to feel love we turn to music or like for sure like nine times out of yeah. ten it's not even about putting something on it's like oh I'm, i need to i need to put this down sunday monday tuesday wednesday yeah, thursday kind of friday, friday saturday that's a great song, sunday right? monday tuesday yeah. wednesday we play that one a lot never too much yeah luther vandross never too much i was talking to a friend the other day and she said my pregame song is Breathe Again by Tony Braxton. I don't know. It's so, <laughs> it's so like... What? Are you sure you want to go out? <laughs> no. She's like, no, I listen to that and I get in the headspace. And I'm about to breathe again inside yeah. the car. Oh, That's the beautiful thing about music. You can choose what it, what you want it to be for you. That's kind of how we DJ. We go completely with like what, what we want to feel. It might be an R&B vocal over a house beat uh, or, or like a rap vocal over... Uh, a disco or Motown record and, and just the rhythmic nature of both of them. It's all just about that rhythm for us. Hmm. I think I'll, 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 the inspiration usually comes from the conversation, to be honest. There, there are some times that like I've listened to something and I'm like, damn, I really want to make something that makes me feel like that. Not necessarily like I want to make something that sounds like that. I want to make something that makes me feel like that. Mm-hmm. And I think that capturing that influence is like really important with like the essence of originality because then anything you paint after that is like is, is very fluid right yeah but if you're trying to replicate something you know it, it's it's not it's not going to be the same it's going to be different and then just like you're, you're starting in, a, in an uneven ground you know but if they have that tense feeling i think that is what i'm always listening to or listening for in music you know like I, I have some weird references I'll show Maj and he's like, why do you like, and then I'll explain him like, it's like that one thing, you know? And then he's like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, I'm the guy who this never understands. That's me. Yeah. Why? Why? He always needs an explanation. <laughs> explain. <laughs> I don't get it. But like, you know what I mean. We have a great relationship. I like an, I like albums that you don't skip, you know? Like I like when when you play like an outcast album like a Quemini and you like you can listen to that whole album and you're good. And then you're like, damn, all right, what else do we listen to in music? But Hello, mom. I'm on an interview. I love you. I'll call you back. I'll call you before. Okay, bye. Bye. Love you. It's mom. All right, you should have you should have asked her what. Yeah, what's her favorite? I damn it. It was the perfect chance. There's a song by Egyptian. It's called Beautiful Lady. This is like the sun coming up. He tells a story. The whole thing is just a story. It's a, it's a full conversation. I love it. I like things like yeah. that. It's me alone in the car. Whoever's next. What is going on? Oh man, I don't know. That's, that stresses me out. Yeah, just the thought of being on a that's desert just... island. I grew up on a desert island. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was there. It was Mr. Bombastic. If you have a designated answer for that question, like... You're a psycho. You're a psycho. Okay, you know what? It's an Arabic song. It's a song called Aisha Lek. I, I live for you. In Arabic it means. And it's by this singer called Elisa. You should check it out and have a sing along. Yeah. Sounds like a great player. Yeah, I don't even know what we chose really. Jimi Happy. Hendrix, yeah. Egyptian. Uh, Egyptian, Elisa, Shaggy. I love the playlist. Our new single Waves of Blue is out. It's going really well. It was like the number one most added song to radio last week in the States, which is amazing. And we're about to shoot a music video for it. 
very excited for it. So yeah. we're very, very excited to, to capture that side. It's gonna be just beautifully shot, very cinematic. So we'll keep an eye out for that. And the album coming through shortly after that. And I can't wait for you to hear it. It's been four years. Has yeah, it? It's been almost four years since we released it. In September. Before. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, it's worth excuse the wait. Us, excuse it's us. We've been singing Egyptian in the car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>